Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes on the new Hijri year 1442 from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty the King, wishing him, Bahrain and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. He also prayed to Allah the Almighty to end the coronavirus pandemic and bless people with good health. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him lasting good health and happiness. He also wished Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty, Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said of Oman, on the formation of the new government. His Royal Highness wished a man further progress and prosperity, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty Sultan Haytham with good health and happiness. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable of congratulations to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, Sayyid Fahed bin Mahmoud Al Said. Under the chairmanship of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the national medical team continued holding meetings to discuss the precautionary and preventative measures taken to combat the virus. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah praised the efforts of the medical cadres and all other bodies and healed the awareness of the Bahraini community to achieve their aspired goals. The meeting included highlight statistics regarding combating the pandemic and discussions regarding travellers coming to Bahrain. 0.2% of positive cases were detected among travellers after a 10-day quarantine and the members decided to continue conducting a laboratory examination for the coronavirus PCR for all arrivals to the Kingdom from citizens, residents and visitors at their own expense at the cost of 60 BD for the examination before and after the 10-day self-isolation. Whoever tests positive will be contacted by the Ministry of Health in order to ensure the safety of all. The Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister held a remote graduation ceremony honouring the fifth intake of the First Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship. The Director General of the OFDPM, Sheikh Vahid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, noted that the FDPM Fellowship is centred around achieving the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Director General affirmed that the Fellowship has again succeeded in its objective of upskilling young Bahrainis working in the government. He commended the Fellows for the dedication to the year-long Fellowship in succeeding despite the challenges of the pandemic. On behalf of the Fellows, Assistant Professor at the University of Bahrain, Dr Faisal Hamad, extended the Fellows' gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his ongoing support. He also expressed the Fellows' appreciation to Sheikh Fahad bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa and the Fellowship's mentors for providing such a valuable learning experience. Dr Hammond noted that the FDPM Fellowship's demanding requirements have enabled Bahrain's youth to engage in the government's decision-making process and developing expertise that will improve a government productivity. Bahrain's Ministry of Health reported that the Kingdom had conducted over 1 million COVID-19 PCR diagnostic tests. In an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response, Bahrain's Minister of Health, Faika bin Said Al Saleh, confirmed the milestone figure had been reached as part of the trace, test, treat strategy that has involved proactive testing on a scale well above many other countries. The Minister highlighted this strategy has resulted in Bahrain conducting 675 tests per 1,000 people, one of the highest rates in the world. Equally, with only 4.8% of positive cases from the total tested, Bahrain is recording cases well below the WHO's determination that an effective testing policy should identify no more than one positive case per 11 tests. With a high recovery rate of 92.2%, the Minister explained Bahrain has been able to capture positive cases from those who are asymptomatic or with minor symptoms and has been able to quarantine and trace more effectively, minimising the potential for onward transmission. The Minister of Health noted that passing with the one million test mark is an important milestone for Bahrain. From the outset, the Ministry's mantra has been test, test, test. This achievement has only been made possible by the dedicated efforts of all frontline medical staff and first responders. She added that the Ministry will continue to vigilantly monitor local, 
regional and international COVID-19 developments, amend our precautionary measures accordingly and expand our capabilities to ensure we continue to rise to this challenge and safeguard the health of every citizen and resident here in the Kingdom. The Minister of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,494 with 357 new recoveries, 369 registered new cases and three deaths. The Minister expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.